that back end kicked out a bit there. Not... You can feel everything that you eat. Right, so we've come up on the lakes ride, long, longest ride, Garbon Pass. It's going to give me a, an opportunity to try out this new audio system. There is a bit of a breeze, a wind. Hopefully this cuts it all out. Hopefully my GoPro don't die on me. Because I have been looking at replacing, I keep thinking I've got an upgrade here, an 11. But what scares me about getting that, his battery's just cutting out. I just can't bring myself to get one. Right, we'll crack on with this ride and see how we go. on. So we've parked up in Stavely. Big brewery there. We're having a pint after, I think. Might get a bite to eat. We'll see how I feel. Very picturesque. Clarity's pretty good today. Let me just get up here. Have a pan ring. There you go. Pretty good, isn't it? So the climb starts, and I have no more. Oh, yeah, I've had one more gear to go up. I've reduced the cog size at the bike. Trying to get my fitness going a bit. So I've dropped from a dinner plate to a lot smaller one. Ay, oh, it's one of them in it. You only have to get bike it wrong position once, and you're off. Get your act together, man. But these are the realities of biking, isn't it? It's not all 100 mile an hour downhill. It's something to like. Some are digging in. And this is worse stuff as well. Grass. Wet grass. Sapsha. Yep. Ah. Fuck yeah. Ah. Right. What's all the swearing? You just fucking fell off. To that shit, you know what I'm talking about? Grass wet and mud. That's it. The back wheel got stuck there. And our proper fellow right in it. Absolutely. Both feet. Piss wet through. You know, scrambling like a floundered tadpole. I've only been riding 10 minutes and all. It's about a three hour ride. Bastard. Now this is the type of riding that you think isn't techy. But it is. Because of the ruts. The narrowness of them. I mean, this has tamed off a lot here. Yeah. Just weave your way through. Punchy little climbs. That fairly opens up. <laughs> you always tell somebody who's on a trail before when they're in front of you because they drop the seat, don't they? You know what's coming. Me, I'm fumbling with it. Like up and down, eh? I knew that it would come in, I didn't even change my gears. And I could see it. Carl, you donkey donker. Oh no, I've got dirt in there, I forgot my glasses, right. I'm wearing contact. Dirt in my eye. Bastard. Rocky. 
Jeep and over, Jeep and over. There used to be a guy on football who used to call Rocky who did that. Jeep and over. Well, old Rocky, as strong as an ox he was. Not to be trifled with. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, there's a gate. Well, that's a view, isn't it? That's uh, terrific. It's a bit steeper, this. Surely. It's that jagged edge rock, you know, where it's been pushed up at an angle. Just uh, rocks again. It's one of them don't hit your brakes, isn't it? You don't want your front wheel digging in on them. Yeah, you don't want to be stopping yourself, that's for sure. Steep, grassy, wet. Turn your wheel, Carl, don't go to the tree. Oh, that's bouncy. Ooh, I thought... <laughs> I like going for a tree. I've gone too wide. Went too wide then. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. The eyes are burning. Hey, that's a, a nice rocky section, isn't it? How do you think I did on that downhill? Are all right? Or not? Do you reckon you've hit it faster? Could you hit it faster? Come and give it a go. Because as I said, you can not only make it to this in the gate, and then it's a push. Well, when I do that, I'll be chuffed. But it's gnarly as hell and steep. And it's stuck going on the arms. Hold it front end. Look how big these rocks are. No. Fair play, guys. I'm just looking at it and my head's gone. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's a good effort anyway. I'm going left at uh, right. I reckon you'd have got up there, guys, if you'd have gone right. It won't shit in the eyes. Literally and all. Probably fucking sheep shit. Ooh. Oh, that just uh, comes up in here. Come on, Carl, what are you doing? On the feet, Carl, not on the seat. Oh, Charles Ryder. I bet he's thinking, my time in. Couldn't have been better. Despite all that sunshine, guys, it's not as warm as it you think. I'm, all, I'm only gazing it off my cold foot from when it got piss wet through back there. What's your name your video? Go on. My cold foot. 
Right, probably middle at ride and I'm speech has gone a bit. This isn't the climb to Garbon Pass. This is just a climb to get to this the is, climb. This is, a, this is a climb to get to the climb that then climbs. So I've never done this before. And I'm taking it steady up this climb because I've no idea what to expect. But it's hard enough as it is now. I'm wearing a Dirtle J suit, shorter, and it's bloody red hot. I mean, the air temperature isn't too bad. There's no breeze at the moment where we're riding. But I'm fucking roasting. My water bottle is leaked, so I come out with two litres of water. I've no water. The top is where Trill Finder's water thing comes in, doesn't it? Water purifier. You don't have to carry water and you don't have to worry about losing it. I've done done all the vents in it anyway. But gosh, it's hot. And we're still climbing. See, we've got to dig in. While we're riding across country here, yeah, I've dropped the knee pads and it feels alien for a couple of reasons. One, I'm so used to riding with the knee pads up. And the second thing is, excuse me, the second thing is that I've been wearing long pants throughout the winter and this is the first ride I've had with no covering on, just the shorty dirtle suit. My knee feels exposed. It said, Dad, what's going on? Woo, bit of a chill, it said. And then we get, get some of this. So we're still making our way to um, Garbon Pass, but we've so done quite a bit of climbing. Now we're dropping and going across country. Right, up and down. I've had to pull the pads up. <laughs> I just couldn't manage with them down. There's just no way I'm gonna make it up here. I'm off already. I mean, guys, they're bogging up them slates, aren't they? Bloody hell, that's gnarly shit, this. Godness me, it's gnarly, that. We're about 16 miles in now, to an, to an a bit thousand foot of climb. So everything's giving up. Just couldn't make it. I mean, that man up there is a beast. <laughs> so much for a picture. <laughs> what an epic uphill. Woo! A bit brassy up here. Great, let's drop in on it. Let's get that seat drop ready. I'm going to let Gads go first because he's quicker. I'll let you go first, Gaz. It's all about line choice. So I've never ridden this. I don't think I've ridden anything. I've ridden stuff as gnarly, but perhaps not for as long. Back end kicked out a bit there. You can feel everything that you eat.
So I've done all right so far. On the feet, Carl, not on the seat. Slightly offline now. That's what Gaz said at the top, and it's all about line choice. But there's a bit more to it than that. It's line choice and pedal position. Right. Can I get them in a neutral position? And don't hit your brake when you're hitting a, a rock. It's going to catch your front tyre. Let it go. I know it's all easier said than done, isn't it? He does a bit of room. It's going all over that wheel, that front wheel. Just get your composure. Uh, drop on to left first. Hey, I'll tell you, your arms go on all. Oh. Everything starts to work now. Get me talking like I'm a pro. Well, not a pro, but like I've ridden it before. And I haven't. I'm just saying, everything starts to work. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to get there. Oh, that slab would have been the better choice. Ooh. Well, that was enjoyable. My eyes are watering. Watering the eyes. Oh, I don't think we're over yet. I am looking in front and then gauging the line, not too bad. Uh, try and wipe that coming in a minute, give it a wipe. Quick, <laughs> get them hands on that bars, Carl. Get them on the bar. And get on your feet, not on the seat. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Fucking hell, that is gnarly. Oh, man. Come on. You're not right. You're not right. You're not right. Back end bounce. I need a breather, my arms. Uh, man, have you got to concentrate? Can you hear them? Nice. Take actually got a pedal stroke in there. <laughs> oh, good. 
on yet. That is gnarly as. How do? All right. Guys, that is one gnarly, bouncy, rocky, but ah, man. Oh, I'm going to shake the hands out there, look. The, the obligatory, I think everybody must shake their hands when they get to that gate. Oh, well, I'm pumped, leg pumped. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Wow, I've never ridden anything like it. Fucking amazing. Oh. You've just got to trust your bike a little bit. Well, a lot, really. Because you hit stuff and your back end goes and you think, no, front end goes. Just rely on your bike as well as your, your abilities. I'll cheer up for a few minutes, yeah? Right, that's not the quickest, but nevertheless, it's uh, exhilarating. Ooh. Right. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. Until another day. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Until another day, adieu.